going on everybody what's going on welcome back to the channel this is man united central and i'm your boy luther hey i'm super excited that you're here for another riveting episode when it comes to our manchester united before we get started please do me a favor hit that like subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you do not miss any other videos from this channel that out of the way so let's let's see what I we got for you today um, uh, jumping straight into it this is surprising when I was reading about this there's news out there that our boy uh, Eric Ten Hag looks like he may get a huge transfer kitty <laughs> that's what we want to hear right it, the word in the street is uh, he may get uh, upwards of uh, 200 million to spend, right? Imagine that. The question is, where does all this money come from? Now, what is uh, what I'm reading is, but us qualifying for the Champions League, that itself, it gives you some money there. And it's not only gonna be just the 200 million, right? It, it, it can go even higher because depending on the sales. Right, so he's able if he's able to sell about what five six players, you know, it can go up with you know, I don't know, you're looking what uh 250 260 maybe 300, which is that is what we are really uh, uh we really want to hear because that team it needs an overhaul, right? If we're ever going to compete with teams like um Man City, right, we have to have the funds, right now. Let me pose a question to you guys. If we're gonna compete with Man City, right? Leave in the comments below. How much money do you think that uh, Ten Hag should be given? Um, what, uh, maybe 300, 400? Leave it in the comments. I am thinking at least in the next couple of windows, we may need to spend the upwards of probably 600, right? That's what I'm thinking because the team if we're ever going to compete with City, right? City has literally two squads. He can, uh, Guardiola can play one squad, you know, in this game and then rest uh, key players and bring in the subs and still you don't see a drop off. We saw, you know, in our season today, I mean, this season that's just about to end, United Ten Hag couldn't do that. Every time that he subbed, um, uh, he subbed a player, another one that comes in, you know, there's a huge drop off, right? Bruno had to play all the games, pretty much. That guy is a beast, right? And then, of course, you know, we didn't have anyone uh, as a striker with Martial being hurt 100%. We had to go and get a player like uh, Veghoff. Imagine that, right? City, come on. <laughs> City, uh, Guardiola can bench uh, De Bruyne and then he has Gunjuan coming in. And this level continues, right? Uh, he can a, a couple of games we saw that he rested Mares, you know, because he has Alvarez, right? So it's like that. It's a huge um, gap there when it comes to us competing with teams like that, and that is the type of squad that we need in order for us to get to that level, right? So I'm thinking, you know, six hundred is really not a crazy number. I think we may need something like that because you know. Uh, Previous coach Ralph Radnick, when he came on board, he said the team needed open heart surgery because he said we need at least ten players, right? So it's not you know uh, a crazy number for sure, uh, six hundred mil, you know to you know to kind of get us there because imagine this, right? With the two hundred mil, the one uh, what we're talking about today, uh, when you have like for example you get your cane. Declan Rice, uh, Mason Mount, you know, right there is almost 200, right? So those are only three players. We need at least uh, five more, right? So I'm sure with the sales, you know, we can uh, generate some funds. That way, you know, we can he can have the players that he needs. So, yeah, so I'm thinking, you know, the, the news that we see uh, here today about the 200 million is very encouraging because that's why uh, Ten Hag has been, you know, Oman United has been talking to all these players because they they know how much 
they have an idea of how much money they uh, they can spend without confirming the whole takeover situation, right? Because that's a whole different, you know, uh, story right there. Because the, the the takeover thing is just too is prolonging too long, right? And hopefully, you know, we we're thinking we we're gonna get the news yesterday who is the preferred bidder, but that did not happen. So now. If, for example, now we're talking about 200, if the takeover happens, who knows? We may have some extra funds in there, right? But again, um, you, you really can't spend on one transfer window that much because of the uh, financial fair play, right? Because the financial fair play, you know, you gotta control how much you spend, right? And that could be a stumbling block, but, uh, you know, with 200, it's a good start. <laughs> it's a good start, and I'm sure you guys agree. We needed, we need those funds, man. We need those funds, you know. Um, yeah. So, uh, who knows if we, Chen Hag, for example, this transfer window gets those three players, and I don't see it happening getting on those three players because that would be absolutely bananas. Um, you know, it will be it's something else. Now, on the, another news on the transfer rumors today, I hear that uh, Ten Hag. And his transfer team, they're talking, uh, they <coughs> uh, requested the services of Jules Kunde. Uh The French international, he, he is, he's a good defender. Now, uh, it's only last season that he when he was signed by Barcelona, but he really wasn't a regular starter. Um, you know, he prefers to, you know, pretty much play day in, day out. So, Jules Kunde, it's a really good option for us, right? Now, I know we're already talking about Kim Ming Jae coming on board. You know, I really hope we get this, um, you know, above the hump and then get him in. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking more of Kim Ming Jae coming in than Jules Kunde because Kim Ming Jae is already, you know, pretty much he has his eye uh, set on coming to the Premier League. But, 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 fellas and ladies and gents, <laughs> also on the news, they're reporting today that Newcastle, is also looking to get Kim Min Jae, right? <laughs> if you ask me, I don't know, last season, would he choose when it comes to the choice of, you know, Man United or Newcastle? I would say, man, that's not a choice. He's definitely going to choose Manchester United. But Newcastle have Champions League. So they have that enticing. Um, and they got the money. So, you know, it's it's going to be a very interesting transfer window. I can, uh, it's already, the way it's heating up, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We really need to you know get our game uh, up and running. That way we can compete with all these different teams, right? And um, last but not least uh, is tomorrow's game. Uh, we play who? Fulham. Come on, guys. You know, I think Ten Hag... Is the, the team that he's going to put out there tomorrow is going to be a strong team because he wants to, you know, have that momentum when we go to play next Sunday. Uh, those noisy neighbors, <laughs> right? And I think he's going to put a, a strong team out there. I, I can see Rashi starting, Bruno, Ericsson, Casemiro. Um, we, we heard today that uh, Luke Shaw is returned back to training, which is really good news. Uh, I don't think he's going to start. Most likely he's going to start, um, what's his name, uh, the kid? Uh, uh, what is it? I forgot his name. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, not Martial. I can't remember his name. But yeah, he's going to start him. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart here. So yeah. So I don't think Luchel is going to start. Um, on the right, I think continue with 1B. That way he has the momentum. He doesn't really get hurt that much um, Anthony being out of course I want to I would like for to see Jaden Sancho back out there on the right and then um, of course uh, Martial is going to start up top Rashi on the left and then maybe give him 60 minutes or yeah something like that before you bring in the uh, Ganacho Palestri and uh, oh actually in the defense I think Maguire is going to start tomorrow you know give him Give him that one game, at least he can say his goodbyes or something. Because it could be his last game. And I could see a lot of players, uh, this tomorrow's game could be their, you know, their final hurrah, their final goodbye. Because, you know, it's it's time for them to to go. And 
you know, Maguire could be definitely one of them. So yeah, uh, you give me a prediction on the comments below and let me know who you think should start, who should be benched. Um, what are your thoughts on the game? Um, what are your predictions? I think we're going to win. You know, we, we, don't, we, we don't lose at home. So maybe it could be a 1-0 uh, uh, win for us. And uh, with that win, we continue with the momentum to next week. So yeah, that is uh, really my final uh, preview <laughs> for the Premier League because this is our last game uh, before we get to the big one next week. So you know what, guys? I appreciate you being back here. I appreciate you supporting the channel. I appreciate you hitting that like and subscribe button and hitting that notification bell. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful evening, uh, afternoon, morning, where you are, wherever you're watching. And you know what? Glory, glory, man united. Thank you so much. Peace out.